Hello there, everyone. Greetings out there in Facebook land and YouTube land. This is Dawn Del Vecchio coming to you live on Friday, the 15th of November. And uh, I titled this little short video, This is Not Something You Can Smudge Away. So I know that doesn't say very much. So let me explain, give you a little bit of the backstory and then what I'm talking about here. So I was recently in another Facebook group where uh, people, some of the people were bringing up um, topics of concern for them. For example, one person was having issues with a lot of nightmares. Another was having issues with um, a crystal that someone else told them opened a portal for evil spirits to come through. And there was another one too related to uh, you know, having challenging people in their lives and therefore um, not being able to, or feeling as if they're cursed or something like that. So I was looking at these. This isn't a group that I'm usually participating in, but I was reading through some of these and I'm like, wow, this is pretty ah, interesting stuff here. And um, some of, so in all of these cases, people were asking for feedback, support, suggestions, advice. And it was interesting to look at some of the advice because some of the advice would say things like smudge the heck out of your room before you go to sleep at night or, you know, do, you know, do a shielding before you, you use that crystal or destroy the crystal or something like that. And um, I just really have to say that I feel like some of that stuff is really misguided. Now, I do teach shielding, energy and light shielding uh, energy work, self-activation energy work. I'm not saying it's not necessary. And in fact, I've recently done a, what was it? I shared something. Um, oh, no, I created it for one of my private groups, sorry, uh, about some of the ways that you can do the energy light shielding. It's something that I teach my mentees, etc. But I want to pull back for a moment and talk about the bigger picture here. And if you've been following my work for a while, or even if you're, you know, you're a light worker and you're kind of tracking what's going on on the planet, you may be aware of the several things. One is that the Schumann resonance on Mother Earth is rising. The frequency is rising. Another thing is that as a solar system, we are moving through a new part of the galaxy, an asteroid belt, which has a higher frequency. So, um, you know, <clears throat> basically, energetically, we are living at times where the frequency is increasing. So what does that mean for us? Well, as beings that are, we're in a physical body, but we also have a mind that generates thought that activates energetic frequencies and emotional states in our body and those emanate those emanate from us our energy goes out from us we are creating this we are the creators of our reality so if the if what we're doing is we're running a lot of fear frequency even subconsciously old resentments anger uh, hate a lot of dissociated parts of our psyches because of trauma either from this incarnation or others um, then what that means is that we've got some low vibrational frequency running the subconscious of your being my being the collective individually wants to purge the low frequency in order to be a vibrational match to pace with the new energies that are coming in that we are being bathed in as a planet. Hey, Joan. Hi, welcome. So our, our subconscious minds, our bodies want to be able to pace with the increasing frequencies here on Earth. And we can't do that when we're running a lot of low frequency based on trauma, fear, dissociated parts, fragmentations of our soul, that sort of thing. And so the subconscious is going to try to do things to get our attention so that we do the inner work of healing, clarification of our minds, access to love and forgiveness, and the reclaiming and the calling back those soul fragments that have dissociated due to fear, addiction, trauma, etc. 
I hope this is making sense. I hope you're tracking with me here. So when we're bathed in all these high frequencies, the subconscious of our being and our soul is asking us to up our game. And if we're running a lot of low frequencies, what we need to do is heal those parts of ourselves. Because it's only in healing those parts that we no longer have to be running at the low frequency. Now, healing, there are many, many modalities, many, many, many ways that we can liberate ourselves from low vibrational frequency through the practices of forgiveness, through different kinds of psycho-spiritual healing modalities, energy modalities, to call back those, those dissociated parts of ourselves, to call back those fragments of our soul so that we can pace with the frequencies of earth. So when we have problems, maybe nightmares, um, a lot of difficult people showing up in our lives, giving us a hard time, heavy conflict with others, um, mm, bad luck, let's just say bad luck. From the old paradigm of a dualistic perspective, we'd say, ooh, that crystal is evil. Ooh, you must have a, a you know, a, a, a incubus or a succubus getting you to have bad dreams at night. You better smudge. I would argue that smudging isn't going to help you at all. What you have to do is heal those fragmented parts of your psyche by doing healing inner work. Again, with a variety of potential modalities. Hey, Pamela, good to see you here. Um, so if you're dealing with difficult circumstances, bad luck, bad dreams, bad people in your life, you can choose the dualistic perspective and say, ooh, the problem is out there. I have to smudge and get rid of it. I'm saying, I don't think so. The universe, your soul, and the solar system, and our Mother Earth are asking you to up your game, to up your frequency, to up your vibration. And if you're dragging around a lot of shadow material, a lot of old trauma, a lot of dissociation, you're not going to be able to pace. So your soul is saying, hey, what are those dreams telling you? Time to heal that. What is it telling you that you have a lot of a, a series of bad luck? What's the com what are the common threads weaving through that? It's time to look at that. It's time to stop, turn around, and face courageously whatever that is that's lurking in the shadows of your subconscious mind and begin to bring it to the light for healing and transformation so that you actually don't have to carry it around in low vibe anymore so you can, can up your vibrational frequency, pace with what's going on, and be the light you came here to be. Now, there's one other piece that I feel coming in here. Let me just connect for a moment. Hmm. It's about the victim mentality. You know, being here on earth, we are here to awaken in form in the remembrance of who we truly are as the divine, as aspects of the divine, as a piece, as the children of the divine. This place in and of itself and our physical bodies are a demonstration of a belief in separation and separation from God. And so as we awaken spiritually, if we continue to believe that the problem is out there, I, you know, that I'm just attracting bad luck because I've got bad crystals in my house or I'm having bad dreams because an incubus is attacking me when I'm asleep and I got to shield myself and smudge. If we continue to only operate at that level, we're not going to see a lot of change. I am convicted in this. I truly believe this. We're creating it. And the only way to really up-level our frequency is, first of all, to look at our own shit and own it 100%, 100% ownership. And to get support from the many, many healers out there who hold the space of compassion and understanding and have extraordinary tools to help us do that work. And to move into the space of forgiveness and loving kindness and compassion for ourselves, first of all, and then for others. This is the way out, sisters and brothers. It is not by saying, ooh, I've got bad luck. I must have, you know, you know someone has, cast, has cursed me. So no one can curse you if you're holding a frequency that they can't touch. 
So upping our frequency is, is the way to get to uh, a greater state of joy and happiness. And with that, here's the other piece that's coming in. With that, the understanding as well that if what you are looking for is blissful happiness in your incarnation, I would say good luck to you. We are not in the place of bliss. That's like ascended master status. However, we can create more peace and joy and harmony overall in our lives by facing our shadow and healing the old, you know, trauma, etc. And knowing that sometimes things are going to come up for us. Life is still going to happen. And so shielding ourselves from that is not really realistic. So with that, I've kind of said a lot here, and it's a bit heady. I'm sorry. This just seems to be how things come through for me in inspiration. And I'm really working on getting it more down to earth. So let me connect in and see if I can kind of create a summarizing chair here. Everything you are experiencing in your life is actually generated from within you. And this is not to blame you. This is not to say that it is your fault and you're a bad person and it must be all you. This is to say that you are an eternal being who has had probably many, many incarnations. And in the course of all those incarnations, you have experienced many, many different things. Some of them have been extremely traumatic. In this incarnation now, if you are watching this video, you are one who has made the call to say, in this life, I choose to return back to a more awakened, loving state. And therefore, you have asked to clear up the messes that you may have created or been a part of in other incarnations or earlier in this, li in this lifetime. And so when things arise for you that seem difficult, to choose to blame it on someone else or something else is to actually disown your own power to reintegrate what has been lost and to let go of what is not serving you and therefore come more into alignment with the love that you truly are. And so our invitation for you is to, as this one said earlier in the video, to when something comes up for you that is difficult to stop, turn around and face it with an open heart, not necessarily a, a, the, a, a conflicted person, but the situation, face it with an open heart, compassion for yourselves and ask yourself, what is this showing me about myself? What is asking to be healed here? And who are the helpers the, what are the healing modalities that can help me do this work at this time? We hope that this offers you some uh, guidance and uh, solace as you walk the journey of life, knowing that there are challenges and that as you move back toward love, you will find over time that more blessings will come your way. We thank you. We are Divine Mother, and we offer this with much love. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I hope if I didn't say clearly that Divine Mother has brought you some information. And again, to wrap it up, these are not things we can smudge away. We have to stop, turn around, face what it is we're facing, and deal with it with as much love and compassion and self-care as possible. Thank you for the love. And if you found value in this, please leave a comment below. If it didn't make sense, please leave a comment below. If you think there's someone who needs this message right now, please share it with them. You could share it privately with them uh, as a message. You could also um, just share it in your Facebook group or share it, uh, like it, give it a thumbs up, that sort of thing. So thank you for listening. Sending you much love. Have a beautiful weekend. Until next time. Bye for now.